It has been more than two weeks since a Chatham County toddler went missing. Investigators believe 20-month-old Quentin Simon is dead and have named his mother as the prime suspect. That has many people wondering why hasn't his mother, Leilani Simon, been charged with the crime? No one has been charged. Why has no one been charged? Because we're not ready to charge anyone yet. We still have work to do. Yesterday, we showed you exclusive pictures of Leilani Simon at a Tybee Island bar. This as officers wrapped up the first day of searching a Chatham County landfill for her son's body. WSCV's lead investigative reporter Brett Buffington is live tonight at a joint a task force command center near the search site. And he brings us a new perspective on the question of why no charges so far in this case. Brett? Quite frankly, Tina, that is because Lalini Simon isn't a threat to anyone else in the public. At least that's the opinion of this law enforcement expert I talked with today, asking specifically why Lalini is not in jail. It's the picture so many people are talking about. Lalini Simon at this Tybee Island bar Tuesday night. Servers told us her mom, Billy Joe, was with her. With a few other people, we've learned they ran up a tab over $300. That happened while dozens of federal agents and Chatham County investigators continued their search for her son. It's not necessarily the public pressure, but a deep desire to find that child's body. Art Acevedo, former police chief in Austin, Houston, and Miami, with his insight on why police haven't arrested anyone in Quentin's case. A parent that kills a child. Uh, more than likely is a low risk to, to a stranger, to, to the greater society. An arrest could simply be on hold because police believe they will find Quentin's body. If you think you have a lead where the body is at, like, uh, like you, uh, it appears you do in your case, um, it's important to be patient. Today, the WSAV investigative unit learned new details about Quentin's mom's past. Lelaney Simon, who told police last month she was on probation, was. Just last year, in North Carolina, Lelaney Simon was charged with a felony, accused of stealing two packs of cigarettes, a bag of popcorn, and a drink from the truck stop where she worked. Chatham County police have said when they bring charges in Quentin's case, there won't be any doubt about them. Well, let's go back to those terms of that probation. Lelaney Simon is five months into a 12-month uh, sentence there. She has to serve 48 hours of community service and can't be caught committing another serious crime. As for the search today at that landfill, the Investigators have come back here to this command center and gone home for the day. There is no update of anything they found there, but they will be back first thing in the morning. Tina? Brett, thank you. If you would like to stay on top of this case, you can do so by going to WSAV.com slash Quentin Simon. You will find a timeline of events in the case as well as exclusive content of our coverage.